Hello everyone, my name is Adit. I am a senior engineer in Fusi Global Technology. Now I'm going to show our a little demonstration of our LTE solutions. But before we jump into the simulations, I'm going to explain to you a little about our tools and device that we are going to use today. The first tool is the Rogers War signal generators. With this generator, it can generate uh, many signals that you want. You can generate LTE signals, you can generate WiMAX signals. But today we only use uh, these tools to generate the LTE signals. However, these uh, tools can only generate a complex IQ data, not in the RF signals. While we in this simulation only need to uh, use RF signals. So we add another tool that convert this IQ data into the RF signals. So that's where we add another Rogers Watch tools, which is the vector signal generators. But if you by any chance have more modern uh, signal generators that may be uh, are capable to, to generate uh, RF signals already, so you do not need to add this uh, vector signal generators. So after the signals pass the vector signal generators, we obtain the RF signals that will be uh, act as input for our FPGA. This FPGA that has the RF module installed will uh, convert the F data into the IQ data again. So our DSP in here this came from the Texas Instruments, can capable to decode it. And in this DSP, the decode is performed on the LTE labels. So we put our LTE framework into this DSP. It can perform as the user equipment or UE, but it also can perform as the base stations. And the first scenario is we transform uh, this simulation into an appling process, and then we also can perform this DSP as the base station to perform the downlink transfer. And then, after we generate a signal from yeah. this DSP in the downloading uh, scenario, uh, this FPGA will perform a conversion again. So the data from the DSP will convert it from the IQ data into the RF signals that can be analyzed with our last tools, which is the FSQ from Wordsworth. This is the signal analyzer. It can analyze any signal you want using the RF or IQ data. So. Let's start it. Let's just start the simulations using this main uh, control panel, which is our com this computer. So, in this computer, you can see we already uh, opened the code Composer Studio. This is the IDE software that can be able to control the DSP. And in here, we already preload this code Composer Studio with our LTE projects. And we already do the setup, so with a single click, we can uh, run this uh, simulations. So let's just get started. I just need to click this button there, and just wait. That's the sound of the SQ accepting the data, and we can see the result in the FSQ. In this upper part, we can see the signals, and the upper bottom part, we can see the constellations, and now we can see this constellation in here by changing lots. If you really want to get a better result on the constellations, you can do the advanced tuning for the RF module. Okay, that's our little demonstrations. Thank you for watching.